Welcome back. I'm Katie with That Cozy Fox, and this week we are going to be talking about how to crochet around the brim when you're working a bottom to top hat. This can prove to be very difficult for a lot of people because there's no specific place to insert your hook. There's no really easy way to keep track of stitches, and this actually does involve math. So if you made this brim with me last week, this brim has 50 rows. That's rows back and forth. Now we're going to be working around on top of the rows. So for my gauge, when I'm using an eye hook with worsted weight yarn, I know that a hat needs to be 60 stitches around to fit an adult size head. For this hat, I want it to be 62 or 63 stitches around because I want it to be just a little bit loose. This is going to be a little bit of a slouchy hat. This is for my Brie Beanie. Um, that's kind of the pattern that I'm basing this off of. So we are going to do just a little bit of math. I know, fun, but you need to be able to do the math because if you're working other patterns, they're going to have a different round count or a different row count and a different amount of count per round as well. So if you know how to do the math, then you'll be able to do this. So right now I have 50 rows and I need to have, we'll go with 63 stitches around per round. So to get from 50 to 63, okay, I need to add 13 to that. So I know that I'm going to want one stitch per row. And then I'll need to figure out how to add 13 more evenly. Now I can just randomly add stitches as I go, but I like it to be as even as possible. So I know that 50 divided by four is 12 and a half, which is really close to 13. So for every four stitches, because when I divided by four, did you know you were getting a math lesson today? So for every four rows, I'm gonna add an extra stitch. Instead of one stitch per row, I'm gonna have five stitches for every four rows. And I will do that by doing one, two, three, four, five. So for every four rows, I'll add an extra. I know that probably seems really confusing, but the math works out. You'll get your 63 stitches. So now I'm gonna show you actually how I do it. Now, I never change colors when I go from my brim to my foundation row, but I'm using a different color just to show you, hopefully, a little bit better how I do it. So you'll notice you can see your rows. They're pretty obvious. And I'm gonna do it right here in the middle. When I have two rows, I call this the valley. You see there's a little hole here and a little hole here. So those are the two spaces that I like to work my stitches into to make sure that I get one stitch per row. When I'm adding an extra one, you'll see along the ridge, see mountains and valleys along the ridge, there's a loop that sticks out a little more. That's where I work an increase single crochet into. So instead of doing two single crochets in there. I just add it to that ridge. So I've already joined on my other color. Let's see if I can show you exactly what I mean. So I wanna go from 50 to 63. So I'm gonna start, I'm 
I'm going to start right here. There's my one. And then it's single crochet. It's my foundation row. I my foundation round, I always do single crochets. So there's my one. And for this one, I'm going to work three. So I'll work here, here, and then that little loop on the ridge. There. And then I will work two across this valley. One, two, and then I'll work three across this one. One, two, three. So I'm working two and then three, two and then three. So it's not always super precise where you're working it. I mean, there's nothing that says, hey, work it here. But if I pull, you can see there's a good spot. This one needs three. And then behind two, three. Hoping you can see this all okay. So this one gets two. That one's always really easy. And this one gets three. One, two, three. So that's how I keep them distributed evenly. This one gets two. Oops. This one gets three. Instead of just picking and deciding where I want it, it'll be nice and even. Okay, so this one had two. See, I lose track sometimes. And at the end, I should have 63, but we will count and make sure that was three. Two. I'm going to stay with you instead of pausing it. Hope you're still with me. I'm almost done. Okay, now I'm going to stop here. I still have one little section to do, but I'm going to count my stitches just to make sure I'm about where I need to be. So I've got, this was just my chain. So one, two, three, four.
56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. Perfect. So then in these last two spots, 62, 63, and then I can join. So yeah, that's how to do it.